Now to an in-depth look at one of the candidates vying for Lois Capps' congressional seat. Democratic candidate Salud Carbajal. He is taking on Republican Justin Fareed. Last night, we heard from the Republican. Tonight, News Channel 3's Elise Martinez sits down with Carbajal, who thinks he is the right choice. What precinct is this from? Yeah, for the past 12 years, Salud Carbajal has served as first district supervisor in Santa Barbara County. I think my legacy is one that um, I, my office provided exemplary uh, constituent service to all the residents of my district, uh, whether they were emails, letters, phone calls or meetings or visits to my office. He was born in Mexico and came to this country with his family, working in the fields of Oxnard. He graduated from UCSB and served as a United States Marine. And now he wants to take all of those experiences to Washington. My number one concern is making sure that working middle class families here on the Central Coast have opportunities, economic opportunities, that will help them advance and prosper. Um, in addition to that, of course, addressing climate change and offshore oil development as well. We'll talk more later. In TV ads, Carbajal's opponent, Republican Justin Fareed, says he'll bring fresh ideas and fresh energy to Congress. Unlike my opponent, I should say, I have never worked in Washington. But Carbajal says he'll be the one reaching across the aisles. I've worked in a bipartisan way with all my colleagues to accomplish quite a bit of, of public policy that um, brings about many solutions to the challenges our community has faced. From making sure we have the highest rainy day reserve in the county's history, to making sure that uh, we balance our budget each and every year, that we have invested in our infrastructure, our roads and parks, and that we've provided for the safety net for our seniors, our children, the poor, the indigent in our communities, and I'm very proud of that service. If elected, Carbajal says he wants to get to work right away. In the first 100 days, obviously, other than getting situated, uh, I will be moving forward legislation to stop offshore oil development off our coast. I will also be uh, looking at legislation to require background checks on all purchases uh, of guns in our country and to make sure that um, we uh, do everything possible to ban assault rifles from our communities. Recently, Carbajal found himself under fire after being overheard referring to Lompoc as the armpit of Santa Barbara County. I have apologized and will apologize again. Uh, that comment uh, certainly uh, was taken out of context, but I have apologized uh, for whatever uh, context uh, and mischaracterization that um, was provided. The supervisor says he has and always will be a strong advocate for Lompoc. I am proud of my work for Lompoc to provide resources for infrastructure, to make sure that the school's aquarium has the funding it needs, and I am also proud of having uh, work to get resources for the Veterans Building. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab them by the Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's sexually charged comments about women prompted an even deeper divide between the candidates, with Carbajal calling on Fareed to denounce Trump on Twitter. When Donald Trump spoke out uh, and degraded women time and time again, my opponent, Justin Fareed, stood with him. When Donald Trump degraded Gold Star families and veterans, my opponent stood with him. They're bringing drugs. When Donald They're Trump bringing degraded drugs. Mexican Americans and called them criminals, some, my opponent stood chest to chest with him. As voters mark their ballots, Carbra Hall hopes he will be their choice. I am pro-choice and believe in women's reproductive rights. My opponent is pro-life and does not believe in women's reproductive rights. There's a real contrast in this election. And um, I think the voters are going to have an opportunity to vote somebody who represents Central Coast values in Washington as their next representative.
With just weeks to go before Election Day, Salud Carbajal says he will be campaigning down to the wire, making phone calls, knocking on doors, and meeting with as many people as possible until November 8th. In Santa Barbara, I'm Elise Martinez reporting.